Hey guys, it's Dad Robin again from the Super Tolentino family and today I will just show you my favorite collection of Michael Jordan cards. Obviously, these are old ones. I um, I wouldn't know actually how much they cost right now or they would sell right now. This one I got uh, from, on, uh, from 1996. It's a Jordan collection which includes a Michael Jordan commemorative card inside. So I'll, I'll show you what's inside in a while. And then I have this, it's dated 1999 from Upper Deck. It's his career set. It's a 60 card box set. One of six Jordan commemorative blow up cards inside. Oh, actually I have one out of six. Oh, there it is. It's been a while actually guys, since I've opened this, uh, box so as you can see uh, one out of six a sixth title for the 90s it's a little bit there see i wasn't really a good um collector i'd say so i kind of damaged that a little bit but it says 1997 1998 michael jordan's memorable winning shot in the finals lifted chicago to a sixth nba title on june 14 1998 in salt lake city Utah. we all know that in the back, it shows this one here, 1997-1998, the leader of the Chicago Bulls. Jordan's desire and sterling play resulted in a sixth NBA title. A sixth title for the 90s. There you go. Of course, that's, it's got the Michael Jordan, Air Jordan uh, logo down there. I have this. It's been a while, guys. Sorry. It's been a while since I've actually opened this card. I even have a Larry Johnson card down there. Uh, some Pikachu cards. I don't know why they ended up in there. I have a Keith Van Horn. Oh, it's Dennis Rodman card. A few more uh, oh, cards here, including a Pikachu. No, this one is a Charmander. Okay, so I got Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur. I don't know if this actually costs a lot because it's 19. 1999. I'm gonna check on that if they actually cost something, right? So I'll just put them here. All right, then I'll put these guys in the, the guy that card in there. Protect it. I'm gonna buy um, like a like a uh, picture frame. I don't know what it's called, uh, like a frame for all the collectible cards and the. the the boxes this one i actually taped because i removed all the cards i and this one was only 900 pesos before so right 1996 though 900 would be about um about 20 dollars right now or 25 canadian right so what's inside or what was inside or what is inside this jordan 1996 jordan collection it's the big cards this guy's here so i have here the 1995 or 1985 nba rookie of the year card and then oh, i don't want to break that now. i know they they would be they would work be worth something right now and it's in a cheap uh photo album case so yeah there it is that's the back that's number one the 1986-87 3,000 points there you go and it's the Jordan collection 2 so 1 2 that's the back if you want to read on that then I also have the oops, sorry guys also have number 3 1998 NBA defensive player of the year and that's number 3 and then Oh, that's him wearing number 45 and uh, let's see yep so it's been lying around for a while now GC4 beginning of a superstar and that's the like, list checklist and then I have the 1987 NBA slam dunk champion card so yeah GC5 then 1990, no, 1988 NBA Slam Dunk Champion, JC6, and then 
rising to the occasion jc7 you can pause the video if you want to read on the back and this is the jordan collection again it's like a divider for all the collectibles jc8 walking on air so this one seven consecutive scoring times wow who can do that right now he, he, he actually michael jordan actually has 10 scoring championship titles and that's jc9 and then this would be jc10 50 point scoring games that's jc10 career nba playoff scoring leader and that's jc11 and another like a um, divider for the collection JC12, this is the scoring records, 1990, no, 1986, Garden Party, that's when he was in Boston, JC13, JC14 would be 1990, 69 points game, JC14, 1995, he's back, right, he's wearing number 45 right there, Oh, okay. I thought it's like eight cards. I forgot how many cards there are in this collection. And that would be JC 15. Tell me, guys, for those avid collectors out there, I don't know what kind of display case or album I should put this in. This is like an album, a photo album, see, from Kodak that I took for my mom. When I was, when it was, no, it was like 1996, 97, and then it just stayed there since then. So 1996, it's been like almost 30 years now, 25 years now, right? Then Jordan Collection, so that's um, JC16. And for those collectors out there, please let me know how much these cards would cost right now. Nine or worth right now, right? 1998 NBA MVP. JC 17, JC 18 would be 1991 NBA MVP, JC 18, JC 19 is 1992 NBA MVP, and then there's another divider here, I just call it divider, I don't know what you call that, uh, yeah. JC20, the MVP seasons. Oh, look at him spinning. The Magic Johnson here. Michael's Magic Year is JC21. JC22 is back to back NBA championships. JC22. JC23 is his third consecutive NBA championship. Tell me guys what this is worth right now. I have no idea. It's been years since I've stopped uh, collecting NBA cards. Well, of course, obviously I'm a Michael Jordan only uh, collector. I love all the NBA players like Kobe and LeBron and and Giannis, but um, I, I, I diverted from collecting cards to collecting toys. See? and some NBA figures there so tell me guys I don't know how much these cards are worth right now are they worth something I guess so even, you know this is Michael Jordan collection right? so that's the 1996 Jordan collection and 1999 oh yeah I've opened that box already and the cards or the contents are actually in here in this ordinary album as you can see it's really old now and uh, I won't read all of this to you but I'll show you all the cards 1973-1974 he was still young playing baseball then 79-80 he was still in Laney the leader of the Laney attack Jordan splits a pair of defenders so this is like his uh, the reason I like this uh, Jordan uh, card set is actually because it tells me or told me more of his history as a player 9184 9184 there you go I think that was the winning shot and this was that 
picture at all. No, this was, I think, the mini shot. Oh no, this one here. And then a two time national player of the year as Tar here. Tar Heels Theater. Of course, the descriptions at the back there. Okay. And then this is card number 10. Jordan averaged 20.1 points per game as a junior. And I remember, remember him telling his story of being rejected in the varsity uh, uh, in the varsity team. So he practiced and practiced and practiced until he got uh, accepted in the team. And then, of course, he ended up being the GOAT. Well, people can debate on that, but yeah, he's called the GOAT. So there you go. 1984-1990. This is card number, cards number 10 to 18. And then there's our cards number 19 to 27. As I've said guys, please let me know how much this card sets are worth right now. Okay, in good condition, in mint condition first and then in this condition where obviously I didn't really put it in those uh, expensive cases but just let me know guys just let me know down in the comments below okay there you go look at all this Michael Jordan cards and from that set it's worth the buy during that time alright I also have this set called Rare Air I just can't find the box anymore the box anymore so I can't remember where I put it see I'm careless I was careless with my NBA cards so this is what uh, is in the rare air Michael Jordan box set nothing nothing too fancy on the front Posterized by or jo Jordan being posterized by Shaquille. I don't know. I guess this is the full game. Right. And of course, the descriptions are at the back here. It's gonna take a long while if I read all of the descriptions or the at the back. I'm just happy to share this with you guys because I have uh, been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube and Facebook lately about. Um, Opening or un yeah, unboxing NBA cards right now and I said maybe I can share this and people will be interested in watching There's this our friend Charles Barkley or what's his friend right now? I don't know if they're in good terms right now And there you go Outtakes go. MGA Decade of Dominance This is, I think this set has more cards than the than the um, Michael Jordan set actually. I just can't remember where I got, uh, where I kept the box. So tell me, guys, if there's if these cards are worth anything at all, let me know, please, 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 and don't crit criticize me too much. <laughs> For not taking care of them. I was still young then and I was like, hey, Michael Jordan. I love Michael Jordan. There you go, guys. This will be like a book to read. And tell me, guys, is, is this... Oh, these are my regular solo cards. Michael Jordan cards. Tell me, guys, is this type of... Uh, what do you call this again? Pockets? are actually good in protecting the cards. It, I mean, the cards look sti uh, good still, they're not yellow. But let me know if there's a really good brand out there where I should put the Michael Jordan cards, okay? And yeah, there's this one. This one is my fi has been my favorite for a long time. I don't know why it's... Look at this post there. Then it's got... I got the major attractions there. 
that's uh, what's his name? Charlie Sheen. There's Electrified, there's the this card here, three players in one card. Let me know guys. You can you can see the time actually, right? Uh, when when you watch this. So tell me which cards are really worth a lot right now. Or, hey Robin, that's like worth five dollars now. Or that one is like worth uh, one dollar. Just let me know. I'm just curious. I say I know a lot of you guys are experts on this. I am not an expert, obviously. I have this card. I don't know. Is this worth something, guys? Star Star Focus. There's Michael Jordan there. So let me know if anything is worth really good. Okay? Let me know. You can see the timestamp. Let me know. Oh, timestamp, uh, let's say 16 minutes and 8 seconds. Uh, first card on the right. Something like that, or the left, or the sheer, or the Fleer Metal 1995-96 is worth like $50 now or something. Let me know, guys. Okay, I have this 84 rookie, 85, I don't know if that's worth anything. There. Oh, I see, they even have an extra card here to buy. Yeah. So let me know, guys. I know you guys are, oh, these are the, like the small version of the Jordan collection or the regular cards and that's it that's mine those are my NBA cards I mean Michael Jordan cards and as I'm saying I am not an expert guys don't criticize me too much uh, I'm open to um, to positive criticisms I'd say and yeah let me know how to take care of the this collection guys and uh, let me know if you guys uh, know which one is worth the most and which one is the least least and if you guys are also expert with pokemon let me know because these guys were just sitting there for a long long time see i got a 1999 bulbasaur charmander and pikachu cards in the box there for a long time sometimes you know treasures are like that during the time you were collecting them you just put them in there and then after after a few decades it's like worth like a fortune right so let me know guys again thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe i'm going to show you some other uh, nba cards that i've collected through the years and if you guys can can tell me uh what my cards are worth i really gladly appreciate it and please don't forget to subscribe i'm going to show you some of my other jordan collections in uh, the next few days or next few videos again guys thank you very much and stay safe out there stay happy and always always think positive all right have a good day or good night bye bye guys thank you bye